The story continues when Nagi decides he can run the shrine to be in a relationship with Hiro. However, a field trip to Kamakura approaches, and while Erika refuses to go, she manipulates Nagi into going by helping him form a group with Hiro. She insists their group project be a contest to collect the most shrine stamps. But when asking about her answer to his confession, Hiro admits her parents are forcing her to inherit the shrine, which she doesn't want, and wants Nagi to change her fate. Erika then reveals one of her fans from class, named Xion, has forced his way into Nagi's group. Having mistakenly assumed Erika would be in the same group, Erika agrees to go to prevent him from bothering Nagi and Hiro. Xion then turns out to be an annoying superfan, but actually does help Erika take excellent photos. Meanwhile, Nagi watches them constantly, so much so that he forgets to spend time with Hiro, who goes stamp collecting alone. Nagi then decides to help Erika take another photo, but they argue over it so much that they accidentally take another perfect couple photo. Luckily, it ends up being Erika's favorite. He then asks about the mystery person Erika has been searching for, but she warns him knowing who the person is would change his future. The next day, Erika runs errands and while she's away, Sachi visits. Based on his attitude, she accuses Nagi of fighting with Erika until he admits his dilemma, where he decides he'll ask Erika who she's looking for. At the same time, Sachi decides to live with Nagi and Erika, claiming the rented room she shares with her parents makes studying difficult. As Nagi attempts to be strict with her, he gets no support from Erika, who's glad to see Sachi. Once alone, Erika asks Sachi's real motive, and Sachi admits since Erika appeared. She's been scared that they would marry and she'll never see him again. Overhearing this, Nagi decides to let her stay, but immediately regrets it as Sachi takes his room. Forced to go shopping for Sachi's essentials, Nagi realizes Sachi is popular with people. Erika then insists on taking new family photographs including Sachi and moves her into her bedroom, learning Sachi talks in her sleep. Later, Nagi finally talks to Erika and admits that he's not yet ready for his future to change, but once he's ready, he'd like to know who she's searching for. She's then amused due to what he's been worrying about, but agrees to tell him once he is ready. The next day, Hiro asks Nagi on a date to an amusement park, but he's disappointed when she admits that she needed him for the two-person discount. She apologizes for having left him during the trip to Kamakura as she had gotten lost. While exploring a mirror maze, Nagi believes he accidentally kissed Hiro, which amuses her as he actually kissed a mirror instead. Meanwhile, Sachi is in a foul mood as she claims her mood is caused by Nagi being on a date, despite being Erika's fiancé. She then takes Erika to a baseball center, and then to a public bath, where Erika admits she's glad Sachi is her sister, but Sachi is still upset everything is changing. Returning from his date, Sachi makes sure to torment Nagi over it. Meanwhile, Erika decides to invite her mother to the bathhouse. In the middle of the night, Nagi and Sachi's father, Yoe, appears to take them all fishing, something Nagi despises due to seasickness, as he wants to spend time with all his children. Remembering that Yoe said he would stop taking him fishing if he caught a bigger fish than him, Nagi becomes super serious about fishing, but still only catches the smallest fish. By the end of the trip, Nagi realizes Yoe only ever dragged him fishing when he was stressed, helping Nagi take his mind off the problem, so he thanks Yoe for his help. Erika then wonders what kind of person she might have become, had she been raised by her biological family. On Mother's Day, Erika spends time with her mother, Ritsuko. Sachi then decides to get their mother, Nami, a gift and seeks Nagi's help. Eventually, they decide on an apron she can wear in the restaurant. Nagi pats Sachi's head for thinking of the idea, which annoys her that he's treating her like a little sister. They then deliver the apron but lead without being seen. Erika tells Ritsuko she sometimes thinks Nagi might be better marrying Sachi. Oh, stepsis. The next day, Erika receives a text from her father, Soakairo, and immediately drags Nagi out shopping, eventually revealing Soakairo asked to visit, so she's avoiding him in case he wants to take her home. Soakairo then arrives and finds only Sachi, so he takes her to dinner in exchange for telling him about Erika and Nagi. Erika decides to confront Soakairo, but Nagi instead chooses to help her continue avoiding him. Sachi admits that, even though Erika and Nagi argue constantly, they are closer friends because of it. So Akairo offers to continue bribing Sachi with sweets in exchange for updates on the two, which she accepts. He then returns to his office, where he ponders the child-rearing practices of cuckoo birds 
and reveals a picture of himself, Ritsuko Erika, and a boy that looks like Nagi. Eventually, Sachi returns to working at their parents' diner, but still refuses to move back home. Randomly, lightning knocks out the city's power, leaving Nagi and Erika in the dark. She then asks if Nagi enjoys living with her, since she has enjoyed every day since meeting Nagi and Sachi. He admits he has enjoyed himself too. In the dark, Nagi bumps into Erika and kisses her, only for the lights to come back on to reveal he actually kissed stepsis Sachi, who had just gotten home. She's then embarrassed, but becomes angry when Nagi points out that he thought she was Erika, and should just forget the kiss. The next day, Sachi treats Nagi coldly, but when her friends at school discuss a TV show that includes siblings falling in love, she starts to wonder if she loves Nagi. Erika then notices the tense atmosphere and when Nagi explains about the accidental kiss, points out just how much he screwed up. He might consider Sachi his little sister, but Sachi is almost a grown woman and not even his blood relative. He's then unsure how to apologize, but after a pep talk from Hiro, he manages to apologize to Sachi and promises to stop thinking of her as a child, but as a woman. She forgives him and begins acting much happier. Later, Erika asks Nagi to take her shopping but he refuses, claiming he has plans. He invites Hiro to study to make up for embarrassing himself at the amusement park. As the public library has a note-talking policy, they are forced to communicate through notes, though this ends up being more intimate. Hiro then invites Nagi to a kickboxing gym. However, Erika sees them sparring and becomes upset. The next day, Erika demands Nagi take her on a date. After forcing him to go jogging, she explains that she thought he enjoyed exercise since he went kickboxing. Since Erika has never experienced jealousy before, Nagi has to explain that jealousy means she must like him. This infuriates her, so she blurts out she doesn't like him, yet, then runs away. The yet confuses Nagi, and he starts to wonder if maybe he likes Erika. Later, he visits his parents' restaurant where, by chance, he discovers embarrassing love letters Yoe wrote to Nami in high school. Yoe claims love causes people to do embarrassing things, but if it's true love, then it's worth it. He then doubts he could do it, so Yoe demands he just feel who's in his heart. Nagi does so and becomes even more confused when he feels Erika and Hiro and Sachi all have equal places in his heart. Afterwards, Erika later receives a text from Nagi stating he also doesn't like her yet. Nagi is so distracted by his feelings that during exams, not only does Hiro retake first place, he falls to 13th in the exam rankings. Hiro appears upset by this, which makes Nagi feel even worse. However, Erika doesn't see a problem until Sachi reminds her that he has never once fallen below second place, let alone 13th. Nagi blames his overconfidence at having beaten Hiro once, plus barely studying, since he started having fun with Erika. She manages to argue with him into feeling better. The next day, Hiro is unexpectedly late to their morning study session, but when she does arrive and hears Nagi and Erika arguing like usual, she decides to leave and becomes even more distant from Nagi. He's then depressed until he receives a sudden summons from Hiro to meet her. Erika is convinced Hiro has given up on Nagi after his disastrous exam results and is probably going to permanently reject him. However, Hiro is unconcerned with his grades and is more upset that it was Erika who made him feel better, not her, his academic rival. Realizing he still loves Hiro and she still cares for him, Nagi begins studying properly again. Erika then asks for his help to fix her own terrible grades, revealing that she fails any of her next exams, her parents will force her to move back home with them. When after three hours of Erika not being able to answer a single question, she resigns herself to moving out. Nagi is disappointed, as he and Sachi will have to move back home to their parents' cramped flat. Later, he realizes Erika has been studying by herself all night, and Sachi demands that, rather than half-heartedly teaching while doing his own studying, he should teach her properly. Realizing he hasn't been of any actual help, Nagi bursts into Erika's room and announces he will teach her the most basic technique to pass exams by memorizing typical exam questions. After a weekend of intense studying, Erika gets a passing grade. So Akira was happy his plan to manipulate Erika worked. Later, Sachi invites Erika to a festival near their parents' diner, though she and Nagi are expected to help run their parents' yakisoba stall. She is then intensely embarrassed when a customer thinks she and Nagi are a couple. Hiro then appears and asks Nagi to visit the rest of the festival once he's done working. 
However, Saad she is irritated, he won't be going with her and Erika. Later, Hiro meets Erika and Saad she together, but is confused how Saad she is somehow both Erika and Nagi's sister.